Welcome, everyone, to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Mediator Ramza for Monster Challenge. That's a bit of a mouthful. I probably won't say that at the beginning of every episode. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yes, uh, as promised, I this is going to be my new LP. It is a Final Fantasy Tactics Challenge. Um, I will probably put the rules of the challenge in the description of this video. It is in the description of the uh, intro video. So actually, I'm going to just keep it just in the intro, intro video there. So if you want to know the details of my challenge, it'll be in there. I also probably will refer back to those during my commentary. But uh, yeah, so the, the start of the challenge starts actually at Dorder City, which is where I'm at now. Um, I did a bit of leveling because I had to get to Mediator Unlocked and get my monsters. Which was a, a bit of a challenge, but I got some surprisingly good generics to start off with, which was kind of annoying, but I had to get rid of all of them. <laughs> um, I am actually considering a separate uh, tactics challenge of a different type because of the good uh, generics I got. There is a one called Tactics Double Dare, which uh, if I decide to do it, I will explain when I do it. But for now, we're going to do this one. So we're going to just jump right in, and uh, I'll show you what I got to work with, to start off with. <clears throat> this is the battle formation screen. This is where we can place our units. Uh, you don't get to see the battlefield before you put it down, so the only way you'll really know is if you played the game before, which I have. So, I know that it doesn't matter where I put Ramza in this particular formation because there's a cutscene and he moves to a specific spot, so really it doesn't matter where I put him. But uh, I will now show what monsters I have access to to start off with. This is uh, Taurus the Goblin. I got him in one of my first uh, random areas. It's probably one of the best added goblin I've seen in a long time. Unfortunately, goblins are notoriously weak even the good ones are still kind of weak. So he's kind of more of a placeholder until we get better uh, monsters to work with. So, but he'll, he's a good generic fighter. Not great speed, not great strength, but, you know, he's good enough to fill a spot and do okay. We have Rouse, our yellow chocobo, who is currently uh, a healer of sorts. He has good... Uh, running range, though, so I'm probably actually going to send him up after the archer and have uh, Ramza focus on healing down here, because he is half chemist, half mediator. By the definition of the challenge, I have to have mediator talk skill as either primary or secondary at all times. I found the most effective combination for at least how I play is mediator chemist, so I will be alternating between mediator and chemist much of the time. If I deviate from that, I might try to learn uh, a skill or two, but that's kind of risky because then I lose out on a big healer. Um, I have a bomb. I've never been a fan of bombs. Uh, they're very slow, they have very low hit points, and really their best thing you've got going for them, at least the basic ones, is self-destruct, and you can't get experience points for killing anyone with self-destruct. So it's uh, kind of hard to keep them leveled, because they're just so hard to keep alive. So you probably won't see me using bombs much if I have a choice. Uh, Panther. A nice all-around unit. Um, actually, I'm probably going to put this guy in instead of... Uh, probably going to put this guy instead of uh, Tors. Because... Uh, Probably gonna put Taurus in because he's uh has a better uh, evasion for one thing, and he's faster, which is always good. I'm gonna put him right here because I have a bull demon. Yeah, a lot of hit points, hits like a truck, but um really I'm just using him to get a Minotaurus, which is the second rank and is much better. If I get a sacred, that would be ridiculous, but. They're, hard, they're really hard to come by. 
But yeah, I'm going to give a start to the battle. There's a bit of a cutscene, but I'm not really going to be voice acting it or anything. I will let it go by, so you can kind of see at least the dialogue a bit. But I'm probably not going to do anything with it. I'll probably just kind of commentate over it. <clears throat> but this battle is a bit rough. I mean, they're, the enemies you fight are not very well equipped. But you do fight a bunch more than you get. <clears throat> My main focus is to get rid of the archer on the top of the roof. You'll see him when the battle starts. He causes the most trouble out of anything in this fight. Uh, the mages can be a bit annoying, but they don't have a lot of HP, and they only have fire. And because it's raining, fire damage is actually reduced. See, here comes the rain. So they only have fire, so I don't have too much to worry about them, and I have no enemies, I have no units weak to fire in this uh, group. That is one thing you have to keep track of in this game, is uh, many monsters have an elemental weakness. And if you uh, let them get into a battle against something that can hurt their element weakness, they're, they can get one-shotted fairly reliably. So yeah. Look at that little monster group back there. Uh, for these starter battles and when you have guests, you're allowed to do whatever you want with guests. It's always best to try to have uh, a strong Delita and a strong Algus for the beginning, because it can be really rough getting started out. I apologize for the odd sound effects. For those who played the original game, you can tell the sound effects are different. I think it has something to do with my uh, audio plugin I have for this emulator. It's making all the sound effects come out wonky. But the music sounds fine, so that's the important thing because the music is awesome in this game. One of the many reasons I love it. Now, because of the AI, how it works, Delita and August will try to take out the archer first, so I want to try to get rid of him quickly so that uh, they don't go too far up there and they kind of stay more down here so they can fight the rest of the people quicker. But uh, if I mess it up then uh, I'm going to have people all over the place and I'm going to have to try to just make do with what I have. <laughs> yep, there goes Alita. I made him a knight, so he has more uh, toughness. I made Algus an archer. If only for the foreshadowing. <laughs> Those who played the game know what I'm talking about. But uh, actually, I made him an archer... Because it's worked, he works pretty well as an archer. Um, gives him a bit of range, just goes far away from where he should. <coughs> but look, I'm not gonna get too far in this to get started, unfortunately. So you're gonna see the mostly their moves going, maybe my first round before I have to stop the recording. Hopefully, I'll at least get to mention the monsters here. But yeah, uh, Ramza is a chemist right now, but he has talk skill secondary. Um, he only has Invitation for Mediator, because I just wanted to make sure I got the monsters and try to level up the chemist abilities, because those are his more important skills. Potion! I have to remember to buy more potions after this fight, because I'm going to use a ton of them, I'm sure. Alright. Can I reach him? No, because he moved. Uh, but he's my best shot to get him quickly, so... Up he goes. Go, Rouse. For great justice. Alright. Cats have really good evasion to the front. So, um... If I try to draw out the knight against, uh... My cat... He has a good chance of dodging. And his only weakness is lightning, which there is no lightning magic in this battle, so... This is probably the best position for him. Of course, the magic will still get to him. 
but oh well. Alright, let's see. Bull demons are the most basic of the Minotaur class. All they have is their attack. So, they're kind of just, you know, very simple to use, very lumbering, just smash things kind of monster. Which is always nice, but... Their uh, second form gets uh, a version of Accumulate, which allows them to increase their own physical attack power. Which uh, is very nice. So I'm hoping I get one of those guys quickly, but it's all the luck of the draw when it comes to monster breeding. Alright. Um, with my enemies moving about, I'm going to end the first video. So next time, we continue the Dorter Trade City battle. Later. <laughs>